Missouri carried out the first known U.S. execution of an openly transgender person on Tuesday, when it put to death Amber McLaughlin, who was convicted of a 2003 murder and unsuccessfully sought clemency from the governor. The Buffalo Bills' safety is in critical condition after collapsing on the field during the team's Monday night game against the Cincinnati Bengals. New York, AP, a man who opened fire on a packed Brooklyn subway train last year, wounding 10 passengers in a rush hour attack that shocked New York City, pleaded guilty Tuesday to federal terrorism charges that could put him in prison for the rest of his lee. Stock futures inched lower in overnight trading Tuesday after markets kicked off 2023 on a sour note. Two adults and two children somehow escaped serious injuries after their Tesla plunged off a cliff along California's Pacific Coast Highway and crashed on a rocky beach some 250 feet below. Zion Williamson is expected to miss multiple weeks.